I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on aromatic chemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm the eponymous owner and founder of Romano Scientific and professor of organic chemistry who has written the Orgo Man books for the DAT and for the Ode exam. Come on around and I'd like to show you some problems that I've developed with you on aromatic chemistry that you're going to see on the DAT exam. What I want to do is to go from ethyl benzene into 3-ethyl toluene. The minute you see a problem like this and you look at the products, you note that we have two groups on this molecule that are OP directors, but they appear to be in the wrong position. You have two OP directors that are meta to one another. So the question is, how was this able to be installed? Surely you can't do a fetal craft on this because this group will direct ortho and para, that you would barely get 1%, 2% at the most on the meta product. So watch what I do, and you want to make sure you know all these reactions for the data exam. In the first reaction, I oxidize the side chain with potassium dichromate into benzoic acid. Now that I got a meta director on the ring right now, I'm going to now add the chlorine, and that will go to the meta position. Notice you cannot do a fetal craft on this, that you might say, why didn't I just add CH3Cl and aluminum chloride and put the methyl group here and then somehow put the ethyl group at the top. Never, never do a fetal craft reaction if there's a meta director on the ring. It would fail. This is very deactivated. Meta directors don't work. So I'm going to use chlorine. And then once I added the chlorine on, I did the Corey House reaction in which I replaced the chlorine with the R group. Here I elected to use an ethyl group because I need an ethyl on my ring. I then reduced this compound down. The reduction of the carboxy acid gives the alcohol. Now the question is, all I got to do is to take this OH group into an H. Not so easy, but I did a very clever move. I'm going to use SOCl2 which will make this into a halide and then make it into the Grignard. So I wrote that as step one too. Once I got the Grignard, I hit it with water. Water will wash out the Grignard and then put in the H and that would be my final product. So I hope you can see all the different steps along the route that allowed me to go from ethyl benzene into my target molecule. I got another question for you. So let's go to the blackboard and let's have a look. Um, a very challenging question where I want to take benzene into this final product. This is a hard question. I'm more con concerned if you understand the steps. All these steps are fair game for the debt. I'm going to first do the friedel craft reaction and put on an ethyl group. Then I added bromine and I did a side chain halogenation where I replaced the benzylic hydrogen with the bromine. Once I did that, I did an E2 reaction to get vinyl benzene. The next step was HBr and peroxide. That's going to be an anti makovnikov addition of bromine. Then I'm going to add magnesium and ether, CO2 and acid. That's going to install, that via the Grignard, a carboxy group. Now it gets interesting. What I'm going to do is hit it with SOCl2 to convert the acid group into the acid chloride. Now, once I'm here, there's an H off the benzene ring in the CL, and I show you that they come off. And we're going to do what's known as an internal fetal craft. So if you split off the HCL, this carbon joins, and that gives me my cyclic ketone. Then my last step, I could either do a Clemenson or a wolf Kishner. If you would have had hydrazine base and heat, you would have done the wolf Kishner. Here I elected to use amalgamated zinc and HCl to convert the carbonyl group into the methylene group, meaning there's two H's here. And that would be my final target. I hope this gives you a really good idea of the various methodologies that I used in a synthetic procedure on going from one compound into another. All these questions are fair game for the DAT exam. If you understand this, you're set to go. Make sure you understand all the problems in the Dat Destroyer. If there's any questions, you hit me up on Facebook and we could go over it together. All right, good luck to you and that'll end this clip. Bye-bye.